Yes, it is. And I'm here in the, the kitchen with Chef Troy this morning, and you've been making up all sorts of, of spring goodness this morning. This Asparagus, is strawberry is my two favorite, so I'm, I'm pretty absolutely excited. Absolutely my two favorite. You know, I've been actually, you know, I've had some cool stuff going on lately. I had a chance to go out and talk with other chefs. I've been writing some articles about them. And, and I do like this little profile, like Q&A with them. And I always yeah. ask all these, what's your favorite junk food and all that. But the one question I always ask is, what is your favorite growing season? And I would say 95% of them say the spring. Really? And, and these are local chefs, you know, because they, they can get their that. hands on, you know, good, fresh, quality stuff. And that's what spring, spring's all about. And good yeah, old local fresh, produce. That's exactly yeah. right. You know, I went to the fresh market and shot for my, my local strawberries. We got some good, fresh asparagus. Good. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our um, grilled asparagus pesto together. Okay. We put it together and we're going to put it on our flatbread now. It just, looks just like a regular pesto. We started with grilled asparagus. We just oiled and seasoned, grilled until it was cooked all the way through, put it in a food processor, a okay. little bit of oil, salt and pepper, some lemon, some walnuts, some parsley, give it a little bit of freshness. It um, smells delicious. And then we stirred in some Parmesan cheese. So now we're going to add some fresh mozzarella okay. to this. And then we're going to add some of this wonderful flank steak that we put on the grill here in the grill pan. And we yeah. cut it up and we put it's it back thin. in the pan that, or back in the plate that was we let it rest in all the juice, you know, that okay. was coming out, and we stirred it together. And that way, it soaked all that back up. So now we've got the asparagus tips. When we made our pesto, we cut the tips off and saved those so we could use it as a garnish oh, on okay. our flatbread. So we're going to put our tomatoes on there. Tomatoes. Now I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay. Hopefully, it'll come off. And how long is that going to take? This is going to take about seven minutes, about so 500 perfect. degrees. You know, we got okay. the, we got the fancy little pizza oven here, but yeah. I've got a couple over here that are already ready. One's grilled yeah. and one's just re regular. Here okay. I'm gonna sneak over here. Sure. I'm gonna put. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna do this actually. <laughs> I didn't plan just that out too well. Them, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. We'll do this for presentation purposes. There we go. So there's our flatbread. So we've also got a salad that we're using with the asparagus, but we shaved it, we left it raw. So we're gonna start that with some nice peppery arugula, which okay. I just planted in my garden. It's the earliest yeah. I've ever started a garden this year. And I'm so excited about it. I still got stuff growing from last year. That shows you how good winter oh. was this year. Yeah. I still have some beets going and some cilantro. Now, this was and the asparagus that we shaved. Okay, I've never seen this before. Well, it's because I invented it. Very cool. Right. <laughs> And then we just you shaved it, it with, Fox right. shaved it with it. the vegetable peeler. We tossed it with a little bit of our strawberry vinaigrette. Now we're going to add just a couple strawberries around here so you know what's in it. And then we're going to add feta goat. Feta goes really good with strawberries. This is like a nice, healthy option. Look at how pretty that yeah. is. I'm like an artist like up color. in here I like the today. Colors. And then some roasted walnuts. One of the first things that we did, we roasted some walnuts just about 350 degrees, 8 to 10 minutes, and just until they're fragrant. Okay. And then, of course, you want a nice bunch of the asparagus spears, which is the best part of it. And those asparagus. are uncooked? Uncooked, nice and raw. This was the vinaigrette that we made. Just strawberries, feta, a little bit of white balsamic vinegar. And then we're going to dress it like that. Real light. You don't want to overpower any of that stuff. Now, for our dessert, we made a little bit of yogurt, strawberry lemon yogurt parfait. Now I'm kind of salivating over this one. We put it in a in the food processor, just pulsed it with lemon curd, which is you know just some sugar and some okay. eggs and some fruit. That's all processed. Then what you want to do? We just pulsed it so it didn't break all that nice fruit up. We're gonna put more fruit on there. We're gonna put a couple little amaretti cookies in there. I you hear could, the cruise belly. You could crush them up growling. if you wanted to. All the recipes are on FoxStar.com. Click on the rising tab. Oh, oh so good. good. My favorite mm. asparagus. And I know, right? Oh my gosh. I know, right? I know. I know, right? You bring out the butter the valley girl. Once it. you finish cooking, it becomes the valley girl. There's no garlic in there. Ah, oh, good stuff, Troy. Right. As always, thank you. Thank well, you. That I is appreciate it. Fox News Rising. Tune in for the news and the edge starting at 10 o'clock tonight. Hey, Have a good day. Where's the forks? Yeah. Where's the forks? Where's the forks?